Now, if you have watched much TV in Maine at all over the last year or so, you might think that Susan Collins and Sarah Gideon are the only candidates in this race. But there are two others, and both of them will be here tonight to take part in this debate. New Center Maine's Don Carrigan introduces us to the independents. We all know the big name candidates, but what about those other two in the Senate race? You may not know them yet, but both independents say they're serious about the campaign, even if they are also serious underdogs. Lisa Savage describes herself as a lifelong activist and just retired teacher. A political progressive, she says, because of years living in central Maine. I'm the only one in the race that's not a millionaire. The only one in the Senate race that's not a millionaire. I don't honestly believe that millionaires understand the needs of regular working class Maine families. Savage says she does understand those needs and they drive her beliefs on primary issues like health care. Medicare for all is my number one platform plank I'm running on and um, secondarily a jobs program under a Green New Deal that would address climate change build things that would help mitigate the effects of climate change, such as a light rail system for Maine so that we could get out of our cars. Savage told us she has a sizable group of volunteers who agree with her on the issues. They've raised about $120,000 in donations so far to help spread the message. I'm going there to raise hell and break the furniture in Washington because someone needs to do it. Max Lynn is sending a different message using his own money and social media and now buying 30-minute TV programs to share what his campaign calls populist political views. Lynn moved to Maine 12 years ago and first showed up in Maine politics in 2018, trying to run against Angus King for Senate as a Republican, but didn't make the ballot. This year, he's back as an independent. Lynn wasn't available for interview this week, but on his TV program, he talks about protecting the environment, putting a moratorium on immigration, and even paying off all student debt. I promise you, we let go of that student loan debt, and you're going to see a revival in America that you've never seen. Do either of the independents have a chance against the better-known, much better financed party candidates? Lisa Savage may have answered for both of them. Ranked choice voting. It's a game changer. Both candidates say that with ranked choice voting, if they can generate enough interest, they could be factors in the Senate race. Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine. Now, you may wonder why we are here at the Holiday Inn in downtown Portland instead of in our New Center, Maine studios just a block or so away from here. New Center, Maine's Hannah Deneen is here to talk about that. Hannah?